हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मे बी यू कैन से एंड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज वेरी ओथेंटिक लेट मी डेल्यू मेरी बहुत सारी रिसर्च और बड़े सारे तक निकालने के बाद ये तक निकले हुए हैं I have put few crosses to some points which uh, you know जो मुझे हेड एंड टोवर्स और इन सब पे मिले थे जो मुझे लगा नहीं वर्क कर रहे नहीं वर्क कर रहे अपनी जॉब एंडिंग के टाइम पे वेन आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू द लॉयल लाइसेंसिंग प्रोसेस एंड एवरी टाइम वेन एवर हैव ट्राई टू अप्लाई जॉब यर सो माई होल अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस होल कॉन्सेप्ट आई हैव ब्रॉड ऑन योर टेबल नो यू हैव टू कैच इट एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू से टूडे इज दैट आई एम सो थैंकफुल टू यू गाइज मैंने सोचा था कि आज मैं थैंक यू जरूर करूँगी ब्लॉग बनाने से पहले क्योंकि जब मैंने ये जर्नी स्टार्ट करी थी देन आई नेवर इवन एक्सपेक्टेड दैट आई एम गोइंग टू रीच समवेयर अराउंड फाइव हंड्रेड सब्सक्राइबर्स विच आई हैव बिकॉज ऑफ योर लव एंड आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल आई जस्ट स्टार्टेड लाइक शॉक से बिकॉज आई थॉट दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज फ्री एंड इट शुड बी शेयर ऑथेंटिकली विदाउट रिडेक्टिंग और विदाउट एक्सट्रैक्टिंग एनी थिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो हेयर आई एम आई एम शेयरिंग सम इन्फॉर्मेशन विद यू अबाउट दैट सी वी बिल्डिंग सी आई नो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल टेल यू दैट नेटवर्किंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई ऑल्सो से एट्टी परसेंट इट इज नेटवर्किंग एंड योर क्योंकि एट्टी परसेंट जॉब्स आर नॉट इवन पोस्टेड आई मीन दे आर यू नो दे गो थ्रू दी अदर चैनल विद रेफरेंस एंड विद सम यू नो समबडी यू टेक दैट पर्सन गारंटी एंड दैट पर्सन सम हाउ गेट्स इन टू द फॉर्म वेर एज यू आर जस्ट वेटिंग सो ऑल दिस हैपन्स एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट जो जॉब्स आती हैं उन पर यू नो हाउ मेनी एप्लीकेंट्स आर वेटिंग ऑन दैट सो इफ यू आर इन कैनडा एंड ट्राइंग टू अप्लाई फॉर अ जॉब और इफ यू आर आउटसाइड ऑफ कैनडा एंड गॉड गॉड योर परमानेंट residency or your work permit then i'm uh, then and if you're searching job for job bank and indeed then these tips you must follow with your cv see main aapko ek baat batati hu one thing is very important here is the understanding the employer's mindset so even though they say that canada is everything canada is good this canada is good all the pros but you need to understand that the demography of canada see everything has a logic right so the demography of the canada who are sitting in that position to hire you are not young people who are going to much look दो एच आर विल लुक इन टू योर लिंक इन प्रोफाइल बट द इंटरनल रेफरेंसेज और द एम्प्लॉयर सिटिंग इन दैट पोजिशन आर अ बिग परसेंटेज ऑफ दम आर एज पीपल सो वी नीड टू वर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर माइंड सेट हमें उनका समझना चाहिए कि येस दे डू गिव अ लॉट ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस टू योर सी वी और रिज्यू में एंड यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी आर्टी एंड क्राफ्टी वेन यू ड्राफ्टेड सो लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आर्स many people ask each other or somehow on the net i see all the time that what is a canadian resume when i came here i also thought that i should know that what kind of canadian cv is and what are the uh, what are the basic uh, you know is it the same that we had back in india or is it something else so now that i have got a conclusive hold i would say at least i i have understood some of it i am trying to share those points with you so in case this video helps you by the end of it do hit the like button and share and subscribe to my channel already you guys are showering so much love i'll be more than happy if you show some more so guys my first tip is that it is a three step process you are looking for a job your cv is the only document that assess your personality your whole work experience and how how important and how the skill set matching is there in your cv with what position he or she is looking for and third is your hard work so many people wohi wala cv upload karte hain they just keep on doing with that same cv and they try try to apply jobs and bombard the employer employers with that kind of cv but you should not do it you should understand that in canadian market the hrs talk to each other yes guys at least for canada i can speak this that i i have personally known this that hrs speak to each other so you should be very selective with your approach you should tailor your cv every time you apply for a position and set that kind of uh, job maybe job duties in it in hard work in your hard work efficiency and put time in that document that document is one chance for the employer to reach you my second point is that you should not just your cv should not just be about yourself okay it is your resume it's about you but guys it should not just be about yourself it should so much be about how you are suitable for that company so supposedly the uh, the employer is looking for skill sets and you find the job description says that the employer is looking for skill sets like ms excel microsoft word even if you don't have that column in your resume make sure you add that column in your resume and then put it across why because that is the only 10 to 30 seconds a look a look maybe a glimpse of your cv that the employer or the hr of that employer is going to look at 
the third thing i think you should make sure in your cv is that instead of you know going on describing about your roles like for lawyers i can speak that we keep on putting drafted a research paper did this did that went to you know, what people are looking for is even if you are a foreign immigrant because uh, uh, Im- canada is all about immigrants mm-hmm. mention not just your roles you should mention your achievements so the emphasis should be on your achievements and why do i say that i say that because how will you stand out you are just another person who's going to apply among the 300 400 applications that the employer is receiving so make sure you do that that you uh, put more focus and give more uh, emphasis on your achievements so supposingly if i have done a particular i have researched on a particular case my strategy is that i try to emphasize the importance of that case and how that case has been uh decided by supreme court or by whatever court but i tell my what was my input in that and how did i achieve the ultimate goal with the bigger picture so it uh, that shows a level of team spirit in me and that also shows that yes i have a bigger picture in mind and that my small step helped the maybe my past employer to reach, achieve that bigger goal now this is what a canadian cv would look like it would typically have four columns to it starting with your contact information following is the career summary or your professional summary i will tell you what you should write it is like a micro resume which i will tell you how you should write later by this end of, by the end of this law then you should mention your work experience which is very important right that is the idea then you should also in the end you should put your educational or professional development so supposing you are member of any organization and stuff you sh- this should everything should follow behind this so till now these four topics are very important and four columns are very important so guys the fifth experience is for me it is very important as i say for immigrants as i speak for immigrants it is very important and it is so it is you you can say it's a very tricky thing that i have figured out according to many people that i speak to is that when you are give as a foreign immigrant when you are trying to apply for your job what you should do and keep in mind is that remove the country name from your uh, work experience place so for example i worked for tata consultancy you can say okay let's mention tata consultancy services i provided in house right so now what you need to do is you need to remove india from it what i did that like what i've seen people doing it is they removed india now what does this do this trick will help you land an interview because they do not know that where you are from and they might just think that you know you can take the benefit of doubt and uh, this is just a smart smart thing that you can do and then you can get an interview so now it is all about your personality in the interview so now that you have come here i have seen people getting job also like that so maybe you can try this for yourself as well my i have lost count of the tips so i'm just uh, recording it like that my next tip is that you should keep in mind that your font size should be 12 and it should be times new roman so basically this gives a very neat and clean look so make sure any kind of grammatical error or anything you make sure you get it proofread proofreading is very important i get it done from my husband he is like the, my biggest critic but he he will take out the mistakes which even i can't see so you should always get proofread by somebody you can trust and somebody you know who will pinpoint the real problem yes, guys make your cv very interesting it should not be boring because uh, just try to sell yourself it is the only document through which you can sell yourself so don't bore the hr make it little interesting don't add hobbies like uh, i say don't add hobbies which makes no sense so if you if you are playing piano it makes no sense here but do add some kind of activity that can help in a, in showing your accomplishments so for example i did i participated in a moot court and i won that competition so yes mentioning that is helpful right because that that is the ultimate uh, my it helps me with my kind of career background and with my kind of job that i'm looking for as a lawyer so now for each of you in different fields i just suggest that put in achievements that are matching with your skill set and matching with the whole uh, whole of your career graph
another tip that i think you should keep in mind is that don't use first person in it don't say i have done this i have done this i have done this no you do not use i it is a turn off for employers believe you me it is a big turn off for employers do not use i instead you can say uh, drafted just look at some sample cvs like i'm sharing then you can know what you can get an idea of how you should draft it i've seen so many people cv coming to offices where i work then where where they have mentioned i i i no do not do that then also keep your cv very short and crisp so if you are a fresher you should keep it about one page if you have if you have mid level experience maybe one and a half page and if you are 10 years experience maximum three page that is what the head hunter told me the first point so you need to know that these three things are very important you should keep it short crisp and precise so it should be easy to read right they do not want very complicated english and seeing or other skills no they do not people here are very simple very simple they will just see okay i'm looking for this particular job and the skill sets match this then it's done so you can almost be there so you need to keep it short precise and crisp so a lot of you mention post secondary education secondary education see no you have to convert all the terms to canadian standards now what happens is when you put it to canadian canadian standard that person the, the employer feels that okay this person is aware of the local tradition the local language and the local uh, kind of the way local things are here he has some kind of local experience this first impression in the employer's mind or hr mind is your chance to grab it so now what you have to do is you have to convert high post secondary education to high school you have to put gpa also guys keep in mind that you add relevant experience relevant experience is like bold and capital even if you have volunteered anywhere which is relevant to this job that you are applying for mention it nobody here will say that okay this is just volunteer it was not paid no they give very much importance to volunteer work as well in fact they see is a very ethical thing that you have volunteered something and that that has brought experience in your hands so do mention it the important is that you can have a second language so for supposingly if i am applying for a job and i know english english is obviously good if you know french you are chances of getting hired is double of what people like me i do not know french i do not speak french i did in college something like less or bit but if you know any other second language that is going to be your selling point so do mention it in your cv that people employer in fact specifically ask for bilingual people or for people who have man who know mandarin who know spanish who know german because canada is all about immigrants and who doesn't want a translator in their own office so you should try and work on your language skills if you if you are almost doing that or if you want to even if you know hindi urdu english punjabi whatever language do you know you should mention it in your cv if you do not mention it don't expect them to assume it okay so this is not for permanent residents or citizens or anybody like that this is for temporary workers people who have temporary work permit like students who got their work permit or people who are who are here on work permit or anybody who is on your work permit do not mention your temporary resident permit because that is actually wasting your own this thing energy and resources and no employer wants to do that so important employer wants to see he wants to see that okay he's training a person who is here for a long term this is what my employer also looked and he specifically told me that i am looking for a person who is specifically going to stay here so make sure you do not mention your temporary residence or uh, residency status and what you do is you maybe want to look into something where how you can immigrate and become a pr in canada because canada mein jo aata hai pr banta hi banta hai almost 90% cases maine dekhe so this goes without saying that canadian cv wants a canadian address and should have a canadian phone number very important so even if you are applying even if you are in india or pakistan or wherever and you are waiting for your permanent residency and this covid thing to get over and then to land and in the meantime you are looking for jobs make sure you have a canadian cell phone number and canadian cv that is if you if you do not have that maybe they don't even give a second thought about your cv right so always have that and guys do not mention your date of birth gender and your uh, religion nobody here so that is not what the employment rule law requires here so you do not need to mention that now one of the simple step in writing that career summary is that you know your professional summary or career summary whatever you may call it is that you mention what role you were in what was the problem that had happened 
and how did you what steps did you take to achieve that goal so there should be a problem then the how what was the solution you gave and what was the action you took and how was the ultimate achieve, uh, success rate or whatever it was this is the career, same career summary which many of you have in your prof uh, in your linkedin profile right in the professional background thing so you can uh, work on that maybe and be very relevant be very honest be very candid and just mention whatever the role that you had the problem that you solved and how did you solve it and what was the end result so this whole thing is your micro summary of your career and this should be in your top area which was the career summary after your contact information and guys do not write cv on the top of the page of cv because everybody knows that's a cv because that's the mail you send and do not mention it on the top of the page do not sign your resume and uh, yeah that's mostly about it if i have also if you can mention linkedin profile um yeah your linkedin profile can be a good way to outsource this because many hrs many hrs are every day looking into uh, linkedin profiles of people and checking even canadian immigration does that so everybody does that right so keep your linkedin profile very much up to date very professional and do not mention that references available upon request no guys do not do that because that way what is happening is that you are trying to tell the employer that okay the references are ready now you don't want to do that i i would suggest that what you do is you put the references available on request maybe in the email or maybe just keep it ready and do not mention it anywhere so if they want they will and let me tell you reference check is a big thing here they do go into reference check and they check out every detail and everything that you've done in the past so be relevant and be concise crisp and yeah that's all you need to know i hope you like the video and i hope you like some of the insights that i shared today i'm going to be back from for with more such information about canada and some professional uh, information maybe with some authentic documents and the way i try to do every time so you can uh, subscribe like and share and bye guys